I'm going to press the A key twice to select the whole mesh. In the top view I'm going to press S for scale and Y for Y direction. And I'm going to scale down to a factor of about 0.7. Well I'll type in 0.7 and press enter. Now I'm going to select uh, an edge, a bottom edge, but I'm going to hold down Alt and that will select a complete line of edges around the base of the torso. And then in the top view I'm going to press S for scale and I'm going to scale in by a factor of 0.8 so I'll type 0.8 and then it's just a matter of moving the mouse wheel to decide uh, the region of proportional editing uh, about there I press enter in edge select mode hold down the alt key select an edge and because the alt key is held down a loop is selected that we can extrude to form an arm. Press E to extrude and X for the X direction and we can extrude. Now I'm going to type in a numeric value, I'm going to type in 2.2 and press enter. We have this rough edge at the end of the arm. If I press S for scale and X for X direction we can flatten the edge. If I actually type in a numeric value 0 and press enter we get a perfectly flat end. We're going to have to subdivide the arm before we can deform it. I need to select all the horizontal edges and only the horizontal edges and at the moment limit to visible is on so we need to turn that off so that we can deselect and select all the horizontal edges. With them selected we can subdivide and I'm going to change the number of cuts to 9. Hold down the Alt key and select an edge and that selects a loop around the wrist. In the right view I'm going to press S for scale but before I do that make sure your proportional editing is set to smooth. I'm press, in the right view I'm pressing S for scale and I'm shrinking the wrist. I'm going to type in a numeric value of 0.5. Now I'm wheeling the mouse wheel for the extent of the proportional editing and as I get to here it starts to deform the torso but I quite like the effect so I'm going to hit enter there. To add more shape to the arm, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and select a middle loop. In the right view, I'm going to press S for scale, but the area of proportional editing is far too big, so wheeling the mouse wheel, I'm going to bring that right in. Uh, I found you get a nice shape of the arm with a numeric value of about 0.8, and press Enter. Now select any edge on the other side of the body. Press B for B select and select just under half of all the edges. Then press the delete key and delete all vertices. Add modifier mirror. Go into object mode click apply and go back into edit mode. After using the mirror modifier press A to select all edges and remove doubles. In this case no double vertices were removed but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to hold down the alt key and select an edge and that selects a loop around the neck. In the top view I'm pressing S for scale and we can draw in the neck. I'm going to enter a numeric value of 0.8 and then adjust the proportional editing. We don't want to affect the whole torso, just the edges nearby about there. Press enter. I'm going to shift and middle mouse button to pan down and zoom in a bit. I'm going to press E to extrude and Z for the Z direction and extrude by a value of 0.1 and press enter. 
In the top view, I'm going to press S to scale, and I'm going to scale by a factor of 0.6 to draw the neck in again, and then adjusting the proportional editing to about there. I'm going to press E to extrude and Z for Z direction to draw out a neck. I'm going to enter a numeric value 0.4 and enter. I'm going to press S for scale and Z for Z direction and we can flatten the top of the neck. If we enter a numeric value 0 it's perfectly flat. I'm going to select a vertical edge and press B for B select and select all the vertical edges and I'm going to subdivide the neck with three cuts. The neck is a little bit sunken into the chest so I'm going to hold down the ALT key and select an edge to select a loop around the neck. G for grab and Z for Z direction and I can lift the neck up but I need to expand the proportional editing area to include the base of the neck and the top of the shoulders. I'm going to enter a numeric value of 0.1 and enter. I'm going to move the neck back a bit, so I'm going to press G for grab and Y for Y direction. I'm going to make the proportional editing area very big to encompass nearly the whole of the mesh. Uh, this is sort of pulling his shoulders back. I'm going to enter a numeric value of 0.1 and enter. I'm going to end the tutorial there. This tutorial is based on a tutorial in Roland Hess's book, The Essential Guide to Learning Blender. I'll put the final file and intermediate files at my website, freemovies.co.uk, at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching.